lot of people ask me why I love running. They are puzzled why someone would enjoy running until their lungs burn, their legs resemble rubber, and their heart is beating so fast that you can feel it pumping in your ears. They wonder why people enjoy the pain of the uphill and the potential ankle-breaking speed of the down. They wonder why people run at all. Ask anyone who runs why they run and they will all give you a different answer. Because I want to get fitter, to get faster, to lose weight, to tone up, to win races and to push myself. Because I like the headspace or the challenge. Every so often, you get people who will simply say, because I love running, because I can. That is my answer. But people still want to know more. They want to understand the strange mindset that someone must have to love running. Why is it fun to pound along roads and trails and fells with nothing but your footsteps for company? Why would you love the pain, discomfort, blisters, twisted ankles and bruised knees? Who would be excited by the idea of lacing up smelly shoes on a wet, cold winter's day to spend hours putting one foot in front of the other? Why do you do it? Why do you love it so much? To me, the answer is quick and easy, but it takes a while to explain. I run in the mountains, the woods, the rivers, the valleys and the beaches, the hills and the trails, the fells, bogs, the grasslands and the mud. I run in nature and I embrace this wholeheartedly. I live to be outside, be active and be grateful for this beautiful and amazing world. I am magnetised to the hills, where my heart beats its fastest and I can stretch the scope of my body's ability. I run to feel the sun on my back, the wind whip through my clothes and chill my skin, the rain beat against my face and the snow's cold creep into my core and numb my feet. I run to flick mud up my back, sink to my knees in peat bogs, sting my legs on nettles and scar my ankles on sharp scree. I run to burn through the snowy trails, leaving nothing behind but a mist of breath and footprints, to finish a day with tight sun-kissed skin, cheeks and heart glowing. I run to feel every muscle, tendon and nerve fire as my senses come alive and set alight. I run to feel the burn of my legs as I push uphill, to relish in the knowledge that my body is being challenged but will come out stronger. I run for the days when my mind is sluggish and my legs feel like lead, when I can barely move a foot in front of the other, only to look up at the hills, the sky and the trails, and feel totally free and lucky that my body even allows me to be here at all. I run for the days when I can't feel my body at all, when my mind feels disconnected from the world and my mountain pulse awakens as I fly along ridges and hilltops. I run to spend time alone, to explore my own mind and feel utterly independent and free, to allow my mind to run blank and see nothing but the six feet in front of me, to let my brain relax and think of nothing at all as my body moves over to the ground, numb to the world around me. The raw and natural act of solitary running is a humbling experience that I yearn for. I run to release pressures or stresses from my mind, to think, to feel free and forget about all my worries, for the time wasted fretting about the mundane features and troubles in life, for the hours spent sat indoors, stationary behind a desk and double glazing, for the weeks and months when my body has crumpled and injury has prevented me from running, for the days when injury is finally healed and I lace up my shoes to plod, slowly, ungracefully, back into the hills. I relish that challenge, starting again, beginning the struggle to start on new, weak muscles, heavy bones and heaving lungs, raising my eyes to look at the uphill strife ahead, both a physical and a mental one. It's not always easy, far from it. Sometimes, there are days when I question my decision, ask myself why, and then, normally, a little while later, I remember the reasons. Though sometimes, I, I don't. I forget why I ever loved it, 
And I don't understand how or when this could be fun again. These days are hard, but nothing good ever came from things that are easy every time. So I run for these days too, the hard days. I run to be out before the sun rises and the world wakes, to feel the cold morning air fill my sleepy lungs and burn my throat, to hear the silence of the dawn, feel the first beams of sunshine hit my face and bear witness to the daily show of the world awakening around me. Or as the sun sets, the sky burns, the light fades and the nighttime thrivers emerge as the gloaming light reveals a whole new beauty to the land. I run to be out in the storms and the clouds, when most people shelter indoors, and feel the damp penetrate my clothes and skin, sinking deep into my bones while blood fires around my body as my legs flow forwards. Occasionally, I run to be out in the dark, when the concept of being alone really hits when there is nothing but the beam of your torch bobbing in front of you, both isolating and liberating you, bouncing back off the condensation of your breath, rendering you momentarily blind. But turn off the torch, let your eyes adjust, and a whole new world is revealed, where the ground beneath your feet and the hills around you feel alien. Put in the simplest way possible, I love spending time in the powerful, beautiful and dynamic world that we live in, taking full advantage of the amazing experiences and opportunities that are open to me. It's a simple act that keeps me happy. I run to feel free. I run because I can. And I run because I love it.